Hey guys, Jamie and today on Roblox we're playing some more Lumion like as you can see on the screen right now. Also as you can tell by the title I'm going to be going over all of the secret rally moves. If you don't know exactly what the secret rally moves are, basically for example it's a, it's a secret move that Lumians can't learn on, on unless you're using the rally system. For a good example is Zero Knight. Zero Knight cannot, right now, normal through normal means by leveling up, cannot learn Fire Breath. But if you have an Eruptodon or a Chartike with the Fire Breath move, I can go ahead and put my Eruptodon in the assistant slot, or my Zero Knight in the rally leave slot, and all of the new M bits that I'm going to get from the rally system will all have this new Fire Breath move. So that's basically how the general idea works. So in this video, I'm going to go ahead and actually tell you guys all of the moves. I'm pretty sure quite a lot of them have been found, if not most of them. But basically, I'm just going to go through the Lumipedia and go one by one's um, evolutionary line. So also that all, if if um, Sea Knight gets it, all of the evolution lines got to get it because it has to evolve from Mbit, obviously. So we're going to be going through basically the Sullen. Um, I'm not going to go over what Lumians you need. So, for example, for Sea Knight, you need an Eruptodon with Fire Breath at level 40, or you need to get a Chartike, which you to evolve Kabunga. I'm not going to go through where you get the moves from originally. If you want to do that, just go to the Lumian Legacy Wiki. So, for example, I want Fire Breath. So, I'm going to type in the search bar Fire Breath, and then it'll show me, okay, Chartiki gets it, Eruptodon, and actually Ikazune got it. I completely forgot about that. Ikazune also gets Fire Breath. So if you want to learn where you can originally get the moves from, so for example, Health Gift. Health Gift's a pretty good one since obviously um, I'm pretty sure only one Lumion can get it. And yes, it's only Wiki Wiki, which you have to take it to the move reminder. So I'm not going to go over all of them. For example, like the Health Gift, just use the Wiki uh, of the Lumion Legs, the Wiki to. Um, to find out where you can get, originally get the moves from. So, for example, if I go to my Sirenai and I give it Fire Breath, I don't then need to go back and use my Eruptodon again. I can just use these new Embits that I have. As long as one of them have Fire Breath, it'll always pass it down. So I'm not going to go over where you originally can get the move from because that'll make this video way longer because some of these have, like, five moves. Also, I don't really want to go over it every time. So I'm just going to go over what... Secret rally moves lay all get. So, for example, starting off with Zero Knight, like I said, Fire Breath, Slap Down, and Chase Down. So, also some pretty good ones there. Slap Down is going to be pretty good on Zero Knight. Chase Down, not so as much, but it is an option, I guess. So, that's basically it for Zero Knight. Just Fire Breath, Slap Down, and Chase Down. I'm, I also should mention really quickly, I'm pretty sure most of the stars have already been found, but I'm just going to go over them all anyway, just in case people haven't seen it. Basically, though, for the Luminami, Luminami gets Gamma Pulse, Mega Chomp, Hydro Slash, Thunder Chomp, and Chili Chomp. So Luminami actually has one of the the like the lengthier Rally Secret moves. So pretty good there. Also, it's, it is a mixed attacker, so it could benefit from all of these moves in some situations. Next up is going to be Tatab. So for Tatab, it will get Wonder Herb. Bushwhack, which is a melee plant move, but it's not that great. In most situations, Nature's False will be better, so I wouldn't really suggest swapping if Nature's False or Bushwhack right now. We'd rather wait for, like, a better plant melee move. Other than that, though, it gets Poison and Tea, so some pretty good uh, utility moves there. Poison, people have been saying that they want to use that, but I would probably run Wonder Herb maybe more. Uh, just in case, like, I guess Tatab gets burned, then that would also suck, or if any of my other teammates got burned. So I'd probably run Wonder Herb on it right now, but people said they want to run Poison as well, which I guess is an other option you can go for. Next up low is Eaglet, which gets Raging Howl, Nosedive, and Arrow Blade, which I think are pretty good moves for it, seeing as it can be run as a mix set. Also, it's mostly going to be running Range, which a lot of people want to run Raging Howl. But I think for this specific meta game with T-Clips, you might want to run that Holy Slash still just to hit that quad's effectiveness. So, Valkyrie, there's some pretty good ones. Next up, then, is Vambat. So, for Vambat, it gets Mega Chomp, Slapdown, and Phantom Slash. So, also, all of three really, really good moves, since Vesperia 2 just really couldn't hit anything hard. You basically had to run it. It could be, like, quick and could hit pretty hard, but seeing as it has 
no good moves until now. You've basically had to run it as a tank and like a stolly tank. But now you have options. And even if you do want to run the stolly tank, at least now you actually have moves that can hit harder and you get slapped down, which is a more consistent um, like item knockoff than dive bomb. So that's that. Um, other than Vesperatu, next up is going to be Himber. Now, Himber's is pretty good, obviously, so it gets access to Earthquake, which is fantastic. It is no longer going to be trapped into that yet is Wrath. We've got Quicksand and Body Slam. The two other moves aren't really that great. Quicksand, if you want to trap something in, then go and feel free to, but obviously, if it's going to die to an Earthquake, they're just going to swap it out. And if you want to trap it in, then you might as well just gone for an earthquake because that would have also done a lot more damage so i feel like hit or miss with the with the see with the with those moves unfortunately zulong glow is next which zulong doesn't get any good like moves for the range side unless you want to run the chili chomp but basically zulong gets primal slash taze which i can see a, a few people using but i also wouldn't really recommend it um Chili Chomp and Blaze Chomp. Now people say that they want to run Blaze Chomp for like Florent and Gastroke. I would recommend Chili Chomp. Chili Chomp hits Florent a lot harder. Bug being also weak to ice. So definitely run um, Chili Chomp. Uh, so basically that. But if you want to run a melee set then they, there's your melee option I guess now. Which would still wouldn't really recommend. But it has those. Next up is Twilight. Now Twilight only gets power focus. Um, the reason why Twilight isn't going to get like a dark or a, a light signature move is because Umbra, being the dark version, isn't meant to have light type moves, and Luxor, being the light type version, isn't meant to have dark type moves, whereas that's what Eclipse Roll is. So that's the reason why Twilight's probably not really going to get too many uh, rally moves, although also I should mention it does get Gluminous Raw, so you can actually get Umbra and Luxor Gluminous Raw as well. I don't think it works the other way around, so I don't think Twi I don't think Teclips can get Gloom Fangs or L Luminous Raw, but Umbra and Luxor can both get Gluminous Raw, which is a pretty good one, because obviously it is a normal type move if it isn't being used by Teclips, so it can benefit from those two Lumins can benefit from that one move as well. Next up low is going to be Osle Cafon, which gets Pester, Poison, and Air Blade. So, again, nothing really too special for Cinemoth. I feel like not too many people are probably going to run Cinemoth, really. Next up low is Tw Avatross, or Twittle, which I feel like is actually a really, really good one. They get Sharpen, Thunder Crash, and Body Slam. Probably not going to see too many people running Body Slam, but Thunder Crash and Sharpen are probably going to be like, a big yes please Everyone, everyone's probably going to run it sharpen if has a setup move now also alongside of the secret ability boosting its speed it can easily like nose dive into a sweep basically uh, no pun intended and also thunder crash gives up that ability to hit now luminami and uh ventation which also walled it pretty easily before luminami could deal troubles uh, could be like could be dealt with without thunder crash but if they were running a melee defensive set, and also this is just definitely just going to help it. So that's basically it for Twittle. Really good moves across the board there. Next up is Swalder, which gets Mega Chomp, Body Slam, and Eerie Stay. Again, Eerie Stay is already a level up move, so it's not really going to benefit from, from that, to be honest. So basically only two Mega Chomp and Body Slam. Next up low is Florant, which gets Wonder Herb. Uh, Feral Blast and Poison. So yes, Florent now gets Poison, not just Gastroke. So that is probably gonna mean that people might want to run Florent again because Florent actually has a pretty decent bulky stats, and its melee side isn't as weak as Gastroke's. Obviously, its range side isn't as bulky as Gastroke's, obviously, but it's got some good utility now, even more utility now. Next up, Plo is going to be uh, Grubby or Terrafly which is going to have a Venom Chomp. We finally now have a half-decent toxic melee move, so you don't have to run Muck Blast anymore. I can just run Venom Chomp. Wing Slap and Provoke. Provoke's going to be pretty good on Terrafly, I feel like. Um, so that could be pretty good. I mean, you can stop a lot of Terraflies from uh, setting up. If, I, if I'm pretty sure that's what Provoke does. Prevents support moves, so you can prevent a lot of Terraflies from going for uh, toxic... Oh, but poison barbs if you really wanted to but also that'd be a speed tie at that point or just just being a, a nuisance so basically terrafly can run its 
parasitized move, it's Bug Stab with Venom Chomp, then Poison Babs and Lend to Slap on Provoke, just for another annoying tactic, I guess you're going to run it. Next up float is going to be Ragoon, uh, or Kleptag, which will get Body Slam, can't really see too many people using Chase Down, which I feel like a lot of people might want to run for the Sorchi now. Um, hop Kick and Spare. Finally, we get Spare if you want to hunt for secret builders in the wild, but seeing as it's a lot easier now to get secret builders through rallying, I can't really see too many people really caring about it. Next up, low is Borok. Borok gets Earthquake. Very, very nice. Raging Tackle and Mega Chomp. So, all some three pretty good moves, also. It, before it would run Muck Blast, no, Muck Buck, Quick Pounce, Chomp. And then, I don't know, maybe just, like, I guess, like, Body Slam, maybe. So, with these moves, it kind of, like, upgrades. Instead of Muck Blast, you got uh, Muck Buck, even. I keep calling it Muck Blast because they're both very, very similar in names. But now, instead of Muck Buck, you have Earthquake, an upgrade, ni a nice upgrade. Instead of Body Slam, you have Raging Tackle, another good upgrade, and Chomp being also upgrade to Mega Chomp. So, pretty good up for that one. Next up is Geklo. Which also we don't have an evolution link yet when I actually almost <laughs> I almost said the actual evolution name. Oops. Um it gets Lost of Loot, Thunder Strike, and Earthquake, some pretty good moves. Earthquake might not seem might not, might seem weird to some people, but it's because you haven't seen the evolution yet. Okay, just chill. I feel like the evolution should have access to it. Plus, you're probably not gonna use it anyway, because it's a it's a range attacker. If you look at Gekko stats, its range attack is a lot better than its melee one. Next up, is Slugling, which only gets Life Drain. I feel like Gastroke already has quite enough, and it can't really get anything else right now in the game, because honestly, it could get a new move, but there's nothing in the game that has that new move yet to give it, so also Life Drain is basically all it's going to get from this then. Next up, Plo is going to be Kabunga, which um, will get Provoke. Some people haven't actually have, I don't think actually Kabungas have actually been found after yet, but it gets Provoke, Scapegoat, which Chartique is going to like Scapegoat, a Muck Blast, which could be an interesting one, and it gets Toxic Spars. I didn't really want to go too far and give it Toxic Babs. Um, it could potentially in the future, we'll see, but I feel like Wiki Wiki might be a bit like too good with all of those we'll see but toxic spells for now okay we'll, we'll see next up is sorchi which a lot of people are actually interested to see as well sorchi gets energy gift health gift and elemental burst i can definitely see elemental burst being used health gift is like yeah sure i haven't really got a fourth move slot so you might as well slap it, slap it on it next up then is sedimaz and rakwala which gets body slam chase down blaze chomp and thunder chomp um, so I guess it can hit the plant types, obviously, so right now Sedimaz is running Earthquake and Raging Tackle, you could run, um, Blaze Chomp, I guess, to hit the plant, or the plant types, which is up to you, but I feel like Raging Tackle is probably the way to go, but it does get chased down now as well, which might be up to some people that they want to run that as well. Ventation, only gets Sleet Shot, it already gets every water type move in the game, and there's not really any, like, ice moves that it can learn, so for now, you just kind of get Sleet Shot. Once we get more moves in the game, then honestly, it'll be able to learn some more. Next up plan is Fan Cub, which gets Final Ruse, Shadow Sprint, and Slap Down, so pretty good right there. So it now has double priority with um, Quick Punch, whatever it is, uh, whatever the Mac Punch variant is, and then also now has... Shadow Sprint, and then also has Utility and Slapdown, which is a very nice as well. River 9, finally, finally, has Fire Breath. <laughs> so it gets Fire Breath, Phantom Slash, Mega Chomp, and Power Focus. So some pretty good moves there. Also, it is a mix set. It has, also, it has higher range attack than melee attack, but you can run it however you want. It might throw some people off, but Mega Chomp and Phantom Slash, just giving people the option, I guess, is a, a good way to put it. Next up is Eruptodon, which uh, I feel like Eruptodons are pretty good as well. It gets Earthquake and Accelerate, so I think those are pretty good moves on it. Also, again, it's like another mix set, so you could run Earthquake instead of the Mud Spatter. This does a lot more damage. Accelerate, you could um, basically have the nuking ability of the secret ability, just nukes a lot of stuff. 
give it a little bit more speed and you could maybe invest a little bit more into the bulk instead of like speed and then just accelerate to outspeed everything could be an option next up is kratol and also its evolutions kratol gets fire breath raging tackle earthquake and burn up so another burn up user if you want to get rid of um i guess barbs and just entry hazards off the field but honestly Volcalor isn't really going to use that too much because it's not a range attacker so Crackalor would mostly be using that although not many people really use Crackalor but Earthquake, Fire Breath and Raging Tackle are going to be pretty good so there's that but I guess Raging Tackle on Volcalor would be a nice addition to it. Next up then is Obsidigon which gets Earthquake, Mega Chomp and Body Slam. Can't really see too many people using Body Slam but Mega Chomp and Earthquake is yes amazing also with primal slash the only thing that you had to worry about was metal types and metal types are weak to earth so earthquake there you are you just need to run those but also as well you have mega chomp which also you had to worry about light types which now you have mega chomp which can do a lot of damage to light types now you have a couple of coverage options depends on which one i feel like some people might just drop primal slash for stab and just run on Earthquake and Mega Chomp just to deal co cover damage because then you can because you can you kind of want be slumber and you probably want sharpen so you might as well run Mega Chomp and Earthquake and just call it a day but you could also put on Primal Slash instead of one of those but hey two pretty good moves next up is I guess the balls now Kafno gets Mega Chomp and Raging Tackle which are pretty actually really really good Mega Chomp destroys so does raging tackle <laughs> so yikes and uh, for the female one mutoon will be able to get raging howl and tease i kind of messed up i'm not gonna lie it was meant to get provoke from the male one but when i copied and pasted the move apparently i copy and pasted tease so yeah so for right now you're only really gonna learn raging howl but i'm not really too sure if i'm gonna give it provoke anymore with people saying how hard it hits, it might be a bit too strong without a lot of things being able to set up in its face. So I think for now, it'll just probably get Raging Howl. Maybe in the future it might get Provoke, but that, I mean, that, was, the intent, that was the intended, but we'll see. And then last but not least also is Demic, which also has five. It has Health Gift, Energy Gift, Poison, Wonder Herb, and Provoke. Now... I will, Gobademic is very quick, it is the newest, quickest thing in the game. I can definitely see people using it, for, using this specific set. It's not going to do a lot of damage. It can clean up late game, kind of like a Zulong used to do, but it's not, it's not going to do as much damage as a Zulong. So it, it really needs things to be really weak to pick stuff off. So basically, for Gobademic, you probably want to run Muck Blast for the most damage possible with Bane Fall, the secret ability. Health Gift is, is like, yes, you're the fastest thing in the game. You kind of might as well run Health Gift. Is Gobademic's going to faint. Might as well give more health to something else that's more useful in your team, right? So Health Gift is a yes, you want that. Next up, you don't really need Poison. I can see people potentially using it, but you could if you want to. But it's up to you. You're probably going to be running Toxic or Poison Barbs with this thing anyway, just to try and get the Baneful boost a little bit. So you might just want to run provoke or wonder herb so it's up to you i guess that there's a few options you can do and really quickly before i end this off because i know people are going to be asking what about the legendaries legendaries can't rally so you can't get anything from those so yeah but that's basically all of the moves so um hey that's pretty good i'm actually going to quickly check if i have any secret ability ones please give me the secret ability mm, no well rip i tried so basically that's all of the rally moves in the game also we will be having but we will we will be having more in the future i'm not going to continuously add more moves every single update it might take a couple of updates before we get some more but for this first rally update i thought we'd go through and give quite a few of them also some got a lot more notes for example ventation is a good example it already has every water move in the game that isn't a signature move and the only ice type in the game is boomer <laughs> is himber um and it doesn't really need any of them i mean chili charm probably not it's a range attacker so i see 
wind or whatever it's called in this game is basically the only move I can really get. So yeah. Anyway, low, that's what I'm going to end this off here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Like I said, if you want to leave me like suggestions on maybe what some more things could learn in the future. I mean, it's not like a guarantee that we're going to get added into the game. But if you want to give me some suggestions, hit me up and I'll consider them. So there's that. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time.